Welcome out to my garden, friends. I'm already nice and dirty. Today is potato planting day. You're getting potatoes placed out and we are just going to, as simple as can be, plant potatoes by just directly laying them on the ground. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. So don't use this for potato planting, but this is my favorite like seed guide to get high intense intensity planting done. So if I pretend that that is a foot and then I know my next one goes right here. And then my next one goes up there. Let me just do that again. Yep. Anyway, you get the idea. So I'm doing it a foot on center. I do not cut or chit my potatoes, it's called, where you, you know, cut, chop them up where there's one eye a piece. Just because I don't take time to do that is really the only reason. This garden bed here has only ever been a deep mulch in earth bed, either roof stout or tons of barn clean out. Um, one year I brought in a big load of compost and added it, but it's never been tilled. It started out with just cardboard right on top of the grass. I do have to manage weeds with my deep mulch. Um, sometimes that's me getting in with a fork and forking it out, or for the most part, just hand weeding or deep mulch layers on top to suppress the weeds. Okay, they're all laid out, four rows, about 12 inches in spacing apart. I just went and grabbed some bone meal. I'm gonna be sprinkling bone meal all over the bed. A pretty good dose, you guys will see. It's really windy, so it's gonna be a little tricky for me to spread it out. Todd went and grabbed some old hay. We're gonna be covering this with old hay. I do prefer to use straw. Hay is definitely more nutritious, but I'm gonna to have to stay up on top of the hay trying to set off some hay seeds and just my tip to that is just flipping your hay um, over and turning the roots upside to kill it off so that's what i'm going to be working on Now this hay, take your hay and just fluff it. It gets, it's really compacted there in those bales. So you want your potatoes good and covered so that sunlight doesn't get to them. Um, and then as the potatoes grow up during the year, just grab yourself some more hay, grass clippings, whatever you have, and just keep stacking it up on top. So before I get any naysayers, I think one testament. One of the reasons why I love growing potatoes roofed out is they're gonna come out super clean. No digging in the dirt to harvest your potatoes. They're kind of just laying there right on top, right underneath the hay. And um, I was gonna say one testament. Somebody watched an old, old video of ours where I was harvesting potatoes and they thought I lied. They thought, no way, she went and bought store-bought potatoes and just laid them under the hay. That's literally how clean they come out. Um, so, and they grow really, really well. Now, I'm not going to um, say that they necessarily grow any better in um, earth beds, not at all, I would never say that. But what I am saying that this is super simple and um, for folks that don't like no-till or would prefer to not till their gardens, this is a great way to do it. And all of this hay just decomposes and adds great nutrients back to your soil. So that's the way, it run, the primary reason I like to do it. It's 
one important thing to keep in mind, if you guys are gonna do this, make sure the straw or hay that you guys use comes from a farm that doesn't use any herbicides. You want stuff that's not been sprayed with things like Roundup, weed killer, poisons of any kind, because it's gonna get in your soil and it's gonna get really hard to get out and your potatoes aren't gonna grow. One other question we get often is, hey, where I live, it's really windy, like it is here today. Is not my straw or my hay gonna blow away? And a little bit, you might have a little bit blow away, but we're purposely doing this today because it's gonna rain tonight. We're gonna get like half an inch of rain from like the time it gets dark until tomorrow morning. So that's gonna really saturate this. It'll help hold it in place. Once it starts to rot and decompose, it gets even heavier. We've even put this out when it was still winter and let the snow fall on it. And then the snow really weighs it down and really starts that decomposition process a lot quicker for you. 